because people try to argue like Tom Brady versus Peyton Manning. And then I just like totally veer off path. I stop even talking about football. And I'm just like, oh, well, you know what? The one thing that really matters, Peyton Manning's way hotter than Tom Brady. And I'm being totally <laughs> sarcastic. And it's funny because even male Colts fans, like normally inbreds from Indiana, because everyone from Indiana is inbred, they're just like, oh, I know, he's so much hotter than Tom Brady. And I'm just sitting there laughing like, Okay, first off, inbreds are normally homophobic, but they're just blatantly saying, oh, he's hot, he's hot. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not joking. Stop laughing, so I'm not joking. I'm sorry. And it's funny, when people actually, it's like, <laughs> you know what the best part about Peyton Manning is, though? What? Like, the other thing, when people who are like pro-Peyton Manning try to argue, well, if Tom Brady's so much better than Peyton Manning, how come Tom Brady gets so few commercials and Peyton Manning, blah, blah, blah. God. Well, hmm, let's see. Tom Brady endorses Movado watches, and his endorsement pays more than Peyton Manning's top three combined. Oh, except for the $500,000 for a half-hour appearance at a 16-year-old girl's Sweet 16 that Peyton Manning did in the spring. I remember that. Oh, man. Seriously, what a fucking homo. Did he really do that? Yes. Yeah, yeah he, he really did. did. He really oh did. You, you can go look it up on YouTube. He really, really, really did it. And like, he doesn't whole, need five hundred thousand dollars. His his whole like wow. routine of audibling his aerobics instructor. <laughs> like I swear, who taught him that? Tony Dungy didn't te teach him that. <laughs> <laughs> Most. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was probably Richard Simmons and Tony Dungy, being the hate mongering hate like like fucking gay basher that he is. You know I Tony hey, Dungy. Yeah. You, you get that on camera? Thing? Okay. Don't laugh at this because this isn't funny. Okay. Thanks, JJ. Got the that. Speculation of why Tony Dungy's son committed suicide mm -hmm. was because he was gay, and Tony Dungy is like a gay bashing hate monger. Really? I've heard that too. Oh, he's spoken at these like crazy conservative right wing rallies and stuff. Mm -hmm. He is like With way, weird. way over the top. Just He's running horrible. out of space over there. Um, you know what I love too? Take like, a breath. The whole sports media this year, when it was like Patriots versus Colts, was making it like good versus evil. You know because. The Patriots are so evil because they got caught video taping. Like, every freaking team doesn't do it. I played college football. Mm -hmm. Our team tried to do it. We caught teams trying to tape us during spring practice. You can ask someone who plays football at Pitt. It's a normal thing. And the great thing, too, is they're making it out like they're so evil. And it's funny because for four straight years, no, five straight years, Bill Polian, the general manager mm -hmm. of the Colts, <coughs> he's the head of the Sportsmanship and Rules Committee in the NFL. Oh. Every year, and I don't know if you remember. Anybody remember in 0304 when the Patriots oh. and Colts played in the playoffs, and Manning had like three and four interceptions those games, and mm -hmm. they lost like twenty to nothing or something. Yeah, I, was, I don't know what the score was. It was, I mean, they were bad. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the Patriots just walked all over them. After the game, both games, Peyton Manning, like, and I can find it on YouTube and show it to you guys later on my iPhone. Peyton Manning went Elvis Gerback on him, saying, "Well, you know, our line had some protection problems. Well, and our receivers had some problems holding on to the ball, and it was like." And everyone seems to forget about this. I mean, he's a freaking jerk-off. The dude is a jerk. He's an arrogant, cock-sucking jerk. And Bill Polian, the thing I was saying was like, <laughs> this is. you know how in the last few years you've seen a lot more pass interference? Uh -huh. And it seems like quarterback numbers are up? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because Bill Polian, the general manager of the Colts, who's head of the rules committee, keeps getting I remember hearing about changes. This. I remember hearing about this. All yeah. the chucking rules and all the, like, yeah. making it so defenses can't play as physical. It's easy. Specifically... <laughs> So it would be harder. We're still wasting $30. It would be harder, it would be harder for the Patriots to defend the Colts. And you know what? They finally got it. They finally got by the Patriots last year. And if anyone saw that game, that was the worst official. Well, oh. that was the second worst officiating. Oh, kind of Good TV. God. I got to see this first. Oh! Oh, my God. <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> God. Well. Uh.